Please call the roll. Garrows? Here. Durham? Here. Walker? Flood? Here. Kosher is in. Here. Okay. We have quorum. Thank you. Next, we have the minutes for the uh, uh, regular meeting on March 11th. Uh, any corrections, additions? Mr. Chairman, I would move to approve the minutes as submitted. I'll support. Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, same. Motion passes. Okay. Next, we have uh, agenda review and approval. Agenda is the same as been published. ZBA business. First one we'll take is AB 2019-08, Board of County Road Commissioners of the County of Oakland, parcel 0929-326-029. Petitioner is requesting a variance from Zone Yard 78, Article 2705-A4, 11.1-foot greenbelt separation area from, with variance from the required 20-foot to allow greenbelt separation area to be 8.9 feet from the Baldwin Road right away to the parking lot. Good evening. Good evening. Just give your name and we are. Sure. Uh, my name is Rod Arroyo. I am a planning consultant with Giffels Webster um, okay. with offices in Detroit. Um, I have with me Fred Dewey with Dickinson Wright. Okay. And then we also have Tom Blust from the Road Commission for Oakland County um, with our team as well. So uh, thank you. We're honored. We're honored to have Mr. Blust here. From Absolutely. <laughs> So um, I thought what I would do is um, have uh, Mr. Dewey start with a brief uh, introduction and the basis for this case, and then okay. we'll, we'll also um, provide you with some additional background after he's um, That would be wonderful. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to briefly address what may be somewhat unusual circumstances that we're here on behalf of the Road Commission applying for a variance regarding property owned by Lee's Management, LLC. Right. And the Uniform Condemnation Procedures Act authorizes us to do so, specifically under MCL 21354. So if a taking causes the property to be non-conforming with an existing variance or zoning ordinance, the condemning authority can um, apply for the variance, which is what we're doing here. Correct. And so I just wanted to address that right off the bat. Okay. And so from there. All right. Sure. sure. So I think you're generally familiar with what the request is. Um, so what we wanted to do is, now that you have that background, is you have specific criteria in your ordinance for granting a variance. And we did provide a report, but I wanted to just briefly highlight what some of those items are. Um, okay. Um, if, the, if the board would like to hear that. Um, so starting off, um, I wanted the nature of the request I think you're, you're generally familiar with. Uh, one, number two in your criteria says, describe how the request results from special or unique circumstances, particularly to the property, which are not applicable to other properties in the surrounding area. Um, as uh, Mr. Dewey said, this request is specifically due to a request by the Road Commission to make a substantial improvement to Baldwin Road. This is both a capacity and a safety improvement by putting in um, widening the road to two lanes in each direction as well as uh, introducing a narrow median which will provide for safety improvements uh, for those who use the roadway. Uh, so this variance is due to unique circumstances that are related to the conditions. Um, these conditions do not generally apply to all properties in the restric restricted business zoning district. Rather, each property is being addressed individually for those that are impacted by the Baldwin Wood widening. Uh, number three in your criteria is if the appeal is granted, please explain how the variance will or will not be materially detrimental to the public health, safety, and welfare or to the properties um, or improvement within the township. And as I just mentioned, this project stems from a need from, for a, a public improvement to um, enhance and improve the public health, safety, and welfare. So we believe that by granting this variance and providing for the ability of this roadway to be constructed, there will be benefits uh, to township residents and businesses. Uh, under number four, it says, explain how the request is or is not consistent with other properties in the immediate area, and cite examples if possible. Um, as shown in our, in our report, 
First of all, many properties are going to be impacted by the, the fact that this road is being widened. This particular subject property happens to have the advantage of the parking lot is actually set back a little farther from other parking lots in the general area, particularly to the south. Um, so there's already some additional green space there that, that has that advantage uh, when you look if you've driven up and down Baldwin Road. So even with the road widening, this is still going to have green space um, between the parking lot itself and the edge of the curb. Um, number five, describe how the alleged practical difficulty has not been self-created. Well, I think this is a classic example. The, the property owner is not creating this. It's being created by the Road Commission in their need to uh, construct a public improvement uh, for public health, safety, and welfare. Number six, topography. Topography we don't believe is an issue here, so that's not, um, not applicable. And then number seven, describe how strict compliance with the ordinance unreasonably prevents the owner from using his property for a permitted purpose or to be unreasonably burdensome. Um, strict compliance with the 20-foot parking lot would require removal, or 20-foot setback, excuse me, would require removal of 13 parking spaces from this property. Um, essentially, only 29 spaces would be provided versus the 38 that are required if those 13 spaces were removed. Um, therefore, this property would be um, a non-conforming property in terms of the number of parking spaces, and those 13 highly visible spaces would be removed um, from the front if the variance was not granted, which, be, which, which would have an impact on the property as well. Have there been any previous appeals involving this property? We are not aware of any. Um, and is this request the result of an ordinance violation? And to our knowledge, no, this is not coming to you as a result of an ordinance violation. Okay. If you are interested in more information about the actual road improvement itself, Mr. Blust is here. Otherwise, um, we will turn it back to you for okay. uh, any questions you may Very have. Very good. Nice explanation. Any questions by the board? I mean, I'm good with this. So. No, this is no different than we've had to do with a several, Signs couple and others you know, along there. Areas, and, I, so. and I got an idea, but it not be the last. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. we won't. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there anybody here in the audience to speak to this matter? We have a motion. Mr. Yes. Chairman, I'll make you a motion. Please. On the matter of uh, ZBA case AB-2019-08, Board of County Road Commissioners of the County of Oakland, parcel number 09-29-326-029, I would move that the petitioner request for variances from zoning ordinance number 78, article 27, section 27.05A4, an 11.1 foot greenbelt separation area with variance from the required 20 feet to allow the greenbelt separation area to be 8.9 feet from the Baldwin Road right of way to the parking lot be granted because the petitioner did demonstrate that the following standards for variances have been met in this case, and they have set forth facts which show that in this case, the petitioner does show the following practical difficulty due to unique characteristics of the property and not related to general conditions in the area of the property, due to the uh, widening of Ballin Road, which improvement, which will be a safe uh, factor uh, on Baldwin Road, uh, number two, the following are exceptional or extraordinary circumstances or conditions applicable to the property involved and do not apply generally to other properties in the same district or zone. Uh, basically, the parking lot is on the front uh, Baldwin Road, and in order to save those spaces, uh, this is, uh, request is being made by the Road Commission. The variance is necessary for the preservation and enjoyment of the substantial property right possessed by other property in the same zone or vicinity based on uh, the parking lot fronting the Baldwin Road. So they may still enjoy that business there, that uh, plaza. The granting of the variance or modification will not be materially detrimental to the public welfare or materially injurious to the property or to improvements in such zone or district in which the property is located based on the following findings of fact. Again, Baldwin Road widening and the safety of the new road. Further, uh, this will not impair any adequate supply of light or air to adjacent property. It, is not it will not unreasonably increase congestion in the public streets. It will not increase the in danger of fire and danger to public safety. In fact, it will increase public safety. Unreasonably diminish or impair established property values within the surrounding area or in any other respect, impair the public health, safety, comfort, morals, or welfare of the inhabitants of the township. I'll support that. Further discussion? Please call the roll. 
Yes. 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 Thank you so much. Thank nice you. presentation. Appreciate it. Have a great evening. Thanks for coming down. Okay. Next case we have is AB 2019-09, Mark Ferguson, 3140 West Clarkson Road, 0908-376-008 parcel. Petitioner is requesting four variants from zoning ordinance 78. Article 5, section 505, area in bulk requirements zoned SE. A 10-foot side yard setback variance from the required 20-foot side yard setback to build a pole barn 10-foot from the side property line on the east side. A Number two, a six and a half foot variance above the height of the principal structure, 16 foot to build a pole barn, 22.5 foot in height, 25 foot away from the rear side of the principal structure. A 1,736 square foot variance above the allowed 1,400 square foot maximum floor area of detached accessory buildings to build a 2,560 square foot pole barn in addition to the 576 square foot detached garage for a total of 3,136 square foot maximum floor area of detached accessory and 11, a 1,236 square foot variance above the allowed 1,900 square foot total maximum allowed floor area for all accessory buildings for a total maximum floor area of 3,136 square foot of all accessory buildings. Mr. Ferguson. Yes, sir. Can you explain to us why you need such a massive building? I have a lot of things. I got. Uh, I got two boats, I got three classic cars, um, lawnmowers, tractors. Where do you have them now? Uh, they're, they're spread all over. I got my boats in Oxford uh, being stored. Um, they just contacted me last year, said they, they sold the place, so I can't store it there anymore. Um, the cars, a uh, couple cars are in the garage already. Um, Another one's in another storage. So I got, I got stuff all over being stored, and just I want to, I want to put put it in one place and have it in one place. I just got too many things all over. Okay. Question by the board, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. How long have you owned the property, sir? I purchased it in October last year. Was that garage that's got the siding on it already there? Yes. All right. I'll apologize in advance because I know how this is going to sound. Your first big dollar investment is going to be on a pole barn and not the house. I'm going to be working on the house also. I'm going to bring the house back to life, basically. Because I saw the house and oh. I saw the proposed pole barn, and that had a commercial smell to me. Like, I need this big building so I can do some commercial stuff. Oh, no. That's not the case. No. What do you mean commercial smell? Work on cars. Oh, store no. other people's stuff for money. No, nope, not at all. Okay, because, I mean, quite frankly, I looked at the house, and then, I, again, I looked at the proposed pole barn, and they, they didn't tally in my mind. I'm no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring bring the house back to life. Uh, you know, it was built built in 39, and I'm going to bring that back to life also. And, is, uh, is there a way that you, you seem to have a substantial piece of property there? Yes. It looks so, like it falls off towards the rear pretty good, wet-wise? Um, it's, pr I, th I think I got the, talking to the neighbors when I bought it, I think I got the driest piece over there, they said. Is there any way that you could push that barn further to, what would it be, the west? The north. North. In north? North. North. Yes. And, <laughs> and alleviate the need for variance, at least for the setbacks. Um, I can put, and. That, that would be to the west. For the setback, okay. It's an east yeah, setback. that'd be to the west. Uh, I, th it'd be close because my, I, I definitely want to move it back because I think I don't know who went out there. I kind of had it uh, staked out in the middle of the house. Mm -hmm. I want to take it back to the back of the house now that I was up back there walking it. I mean, my downfall was I got to take three trees out back there, and then that that old chicken coop obviously is going to go go to that's back there. I think that was probably from the 30s or 40s too so that's that's going bye bye too but uh i i think i can get close to the 20 feet my i don't know if you've seen my wells what it, it's right at the back of the house there so it's going to be close to, okay. to make that 20 foot there thank you so, so yes i i could 
Yeah, Mr. My, Chairman. Yes, sir. That was my concern, too. You have almost uh, 4.68 acres there. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at the, like or Mr. Durham said, there's no reason why you would even have to ask for any set yard setback by pushing that building further back and uh, not have to have a setbacks. I, I just and wanted to keep it high and dry. You know, it, I think, uh, like you said, you know, it does drop off a little bit. It's, it would take a lot of a fill in sand, obviously. Right. Um, but I'm going to, if, if I push it back anyway, I'm going to have to fill in where those trees are at, just behind the, the chicken coop, I call it. So that's going to have to be probably filled in with sand back there to, to kind of bring it. But I kind of want to keep it, keep it high and if, if I can. And one concern also I have is that that is a huge barn uh, on a piece of residential property that's not boarding horses or something like that. Three times the size of the house. Three times the size of the current house. And the height, too, 14 feet, that's, that's quite, a, quite a... So I have some concerns uh, with the, uh, the size, the setbacks, and the, uh, the height. Okay. So those Listen. are my three main concerns. Well, I'm not, gonna, I'm not putting big trusses for storage up there. So my theory was... You know, instead of breaking my back, you know, and having a storage truss up there, just, you know, put a smaller truss and, and build it so I'm not, you know, we're, we're all getting older in life, and I, I don't want to climb that high to, to store stuff. And that, that's my reasoning behind it. I, I'd, rather, I'd rather go the 14 feet than a 12 foot and then build a bigger truss, and I, I don't want to climb up there. That, that's my theory behind that. I just, you know, yeah. I'm getting older too in life, and I, I, I don't want to climb up. Lucy? I just drove by there a few times, actually, because I wanted to make sure I knew what I was looking at. Um, and I did some research about the property online. I just think it's a very large building. That's my only concern. My concern is also that it's 40 by 64. Number one, if you made it 30 foot wide, you wouldn't have to worry about the 10 foot side yard setback. You can put it just about where it is, cut it down to 30 feet, and you're 20 feet from the lot line. So that brings you at 30 feet. So the question is, how much can you get by with? Because this is an awful big request that's everybody going to see. Everybody that drives on there going to see this thing. Can I make another comment? Sure. We've had a history of these before yep. on this board. I don't recall it ever having been this large, this much, without having the petitioner um, uh, compromise. compromise a bit. Right. Because my concern is that it, it's so big, and then people that have come here previously and have asked for these kind of buildings, we have pretty much talked them into it, into compromising. And, and, you know, if we give this large of a building out, I think we're going to have some fallout from it. Well, that, and if you drive up and down Clarkson Road, right. I notice 30 to 40, you know, 30 by 20, 30 by 30, 30 by 40, maybe. I can't, I didn't go back and measure them, but I, never, I didn't notice anything this big. Now, there may be some hidden back there I didn't see, but uh, 40 by 64. Yeah, I think, my, I think my neighbor next door is a 30 by 50, he said. 30 by 50? I believe, yes. Okay, well, somewhere, I mean, I don't know, 30 by 50, but. But, he, you know, he's, you've seen it. He's got a lot bigger house than me, too. You know, he's got a huge house there. So it kind of, and but he's got, he's, got, I think. Well, that makes his look even smaller. Yours is going to look really big because of the size of your house. Yeah, I think he said he's got open trusses, too, there. Um, and that's what made his, because he's a 14 feet. Cause I, you know, it's kind of, you know, I talked to all the neighbors. Um, well, we didn't grant any variances from that I know of. No, not since I've been on here. No, I not since I've been around. But um, I didn't go up and measure his pool bar either. No, so I didn't I mean, either. But sir, just so you understand where we're coming from, um, I think we're going to need you to compromise a little. <laughs> you know, for lack. Well, what, what let's really put it this way. Right. I think you see which way we're going. Sure. If you want us to vote on this, we can. Sure. No, but I mean, what? I think you know what it's going to be. Right. I mean, what? Realistically, what? What can I build on it? What? What's? 
Well, what the question it? is, what can you seriously get by with? You've got a garage in the front, okay, that's uh, 24 by 24, which is 576 square foot, so you could put some cars in there. So what, you know, how big of a building would you need for the rest? I mean, you, you put a tractor in there and a couple boats, I mean, 30 by 40, that's 1,200, 30 by 50 is 1,500 square feet. Now, I mean, if you can't get everything in there, I, you know, you're bringing stuff in from somewhere then, because you've got a lot more toys than you probably need. I, I, I do have a lot of toys. Well, yeah, but we can't accommodate always everything. I mean, that we would, would a 30 by 50, would, the, could, would that be manageable? Mr. Chair. Yes. Do you know what you're allowed under ordinance? Um, I think, wasn't it 1,400? I have, I mean, it's in your information, but I was I, hoping that you knew. I thought it was 1,400. Because one of the things that we, and speaking only for myself, one man, one vote, one of the things we have to take in mind is a principle called practical difficulty. And what practical difficulty basically means is what is different about your property that causes the rules to have to change for you to get what you need to enjoy your property to the extent that your neighbors can. And I'm, I'm not seeing it. And if I can't see practical difficulty, I can't support it. It's just that simple. So you, you might need to help at least me, I can't speak for any of the other members of the board, figure out what's happening here. Well, you know, I, I got, like I said, I got two boats uh, that are in storage somewhere else. I got three classic cars. I'm um, what's, what's making you push it into the side setback? I think that's kind of what Dan's talking about. Well, no, we, we already, we talked about, you make it 30 feet. Yeah. Then you eliminate that. You eliminate the right. Six. Yeah, and for your size, a lot. There's really, I don't think I know. I can't support that. You know, to give you a ten foot side yard variance. No, I'm because, fine with taking it down to yeah, thirty. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I, so I'm, we're we're talking about, and I think Dan's brought up a good point. You know, you're allowed fourteen hundred square foot. Yeah. Um, thirty by fifty would be a hundred square foot variance. Huh? Yeah, I mean, if you got 1,500, it'd be 100 square foot variance. I, I probably don't have a, a problem with that if you took it back a little farther, too, so it isn't s so much visible from Clarkston Road. So if you took it a little farther back and... Uh, oh, yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I want to take it farther back. Okay, I, I you get it by the woods there and you'd probably be fine. Yeah, because my well is right there, obviously I can't. You want to stay away from that. I want to so. stay away from that well. So you know, if obviously if I got to take it back a little bit more, I'll, I'll take it back because I got to. Yes. In your opinion, are we approaching the point where it's going to be difficult for this gentleman to think about this on the fly, and he might want to think about taking it away and coming back with everything lined up? Postponed. That's that's you know that's a possibility if you'd like to do that and then and, and then give us exactly where you want to put it. You know, restake it for us. And um, I think you know well, I about did what mark, we want. I did mark it there. Yeah, I, it's be, all marked out. Yeah, yeah I, where it's I at. Did. But you know, again, that was with the ten foot variance, and that was more forward. Now you're talking about taking it farther back, and you won't have the variance. So if you can stake out the new thing where you want to put it, and about what you know, I don't have a problem with fifteen hundred myself. I only speak for me, but I don't have a problem with that. That's a hundred square foot variance. Above the allowed 1400 right so, but that'd be up to the rest of the board members if <coughs> well let's see you think it's a good idea for him to stick that a new idea out and then come back well my only thought would be that then he would leave knowing and we would be here knowing exactly what was agreed to right um, there wouldn't be any question because right now we don't know this right. exactly yeah. you know I would prefer to see it but that's again just one vote yeah So, what do you think? Yeah, I can come back. You willing to postpone? Sure. Uh, your dates are, uh, I got it marked here. Well, first, is there anybody here to speak to this matter? Before we go any further? Okay. I think we got a full agenda on the 22nd. Okay, so let's go for the next one. The next one would be uh, here we go May again. 13th. Okay, May 13th. I mean, can we vote on it today so I can 
can I get oh, started? This is where you're at. If you want 30 by 50, I can get you your numbers right that's now. What we that need you to, want. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do over here, okay. too. Is, I, so you I mean, that's, one, one yeah, 30 by 50 is fine. Okay. The is 30 by 50 and no okay. side yard. So okay. that's fine. If that's the case, you'd have a 100 square foot variance over the 1,400 allowed. Then you'd have a 76 square foot variance over the 1,900 allowed. And your height variance... You, did you plan on a five pitch or a four pitch? Four, four pitch. Then you'd be you'd still need a height variance of about uh, twenty point five feet would be your height on that, and then you wouldn't need your side yard set. Just so what yard. would be the variance for the height? It would be a twenty twenty point five feet, and that would be a it's four a pitch, fifteen foot, you know, correct, thirty foot wide four pitch, correct, five pitch actually is what I figured out just to give you a little wiggle room, you know? okay. Well, the height variance was 6.5 feet. Now you're saying 20 feet? Well, no. I'm sorry. 6.2 feet would be the height variance. 6.2. Yeah, 6.2. Okay, instead of 6.5. And what's the practical difficulty? Uh, we have, well, I mean, would it, what, what is your difficulty? That you have stuff scattered all I over? I got it place? scattered all over, and, it, and I'm getting thrown out of what, one of the buildings, and, you know, do I... Am I going to bring that stuff there and leave it, leave it, leave it out in the yard and get ruined? I mean, my my stuff's expensive. Very it's not cheap, I, and I don't want to leave everything out and get ruined. So the difficulty is you don't want to have it all exposed to the elements and so not uh, correct or stolen or whatever. Correct. Okay. You didn't buy this stuff when you bought. Uh, you know, just recently. On. Oh no, I had I've, it for no, a long time. No, I, I have, I have old cars that yeah. will stay till the day I die. So it would be. Well, I, I think that's a fair compromise over oh, it's a minimal not. variance. That is minimal. Well, see, what you got to remember now, we're talking maximum floor area. Right. So, if you reduce the building down. The 30 by 50 that's a reduction that's going to leave you with a 100 1600 square foot five. 1, he's asking less than the, than the 40 by 64. yeah he's asking 30 by 50 yeah. which so is you deduct that from the 30 by 64 and that leaves you 1060 square feet that he's dropping it that is dropping yes. right right oh, no. okay so right, right now he's asking for 1736 so yeah i think you got to take the what 1060 off of that yeah, you're going to drop it down to a 100 square foot variant. It's going to be more than that. Just 100 foot. He's asking for 15 over. Yeah, he's allowed 1,400. He's asking for 1,500. Yeah. But that's maximum floor area. That's maximum floor area, area. Of, a no, of detached. That's yeah, well, detached. That's a barn's detached. That's garage detached. That's garage detached. No, that's not the total accessory. Total accessory is 1,900. Yes. Okay. That's a detached accessory building. That's one building. 1400. He's asking for a decrease of 1,060 square feet from his current, if he goes to a 1,500 square foot building, he's asking for a reduction of 1,060 square feet off the, mm -hmm. off of the uh, 2560. Okay. Right. Oh, see, because of the 31. Uh, so we got to do all this math. We got to get this all. 31, 36. I see what you're saying. See, we got to get that out of there. Well, you just add the 576 to the 1500. So the attached, the total will be. Um, it should be 1060 less than that 31. I got it all figured out right okay. here. If you want, that's, it. A, that's what we need. All these numbers. If okay. Um, <laughs> on uh, section, on the first article, it's actually 4.25 feet. So you take that away. Right. So. 4.25 feet to build it 20.25 feet from the height. Okay, start. Hold on, Lucy's trying to write these down. Okay, okay. So, so article five, two, number section three. two. Number one, he doesn't need any. Number one is you don't new. need. Right. So number okay. two is uh, a 4.25 variance. Okay. To build a pole barn 20.5 feet in height, 25 feet away from the principal structure. Okay. Get that really all down. Read it back to him, tell him what you're <laughs> So you're just going to so change. A 4.52 variance above the height of the principal structure. 16 foot. 
16 foot is okay. To build a pole barn 20.5 feet in height. Okay. And then, uh, are and then are we eliminating the 25 feet away from? No, 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 no that's, 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 that's the reason why yeah, you have to have it. Okay, that's fine. All right, then the next one, you're changing 1736 to 100. Okay. And then uh, you're going to change 2560 to 1500. Okay. In addition to that, for a total of 1926. So you turn 3136 to 1926. Okay. And that's done with three. And then number four, it's a 76 foot variance instead of 1236 for a total maximum of 1976. And again, the 3136 okay. is going to be. Yes. 19, okay. 1976. <clears throat> now, would you clear with all that? Yes. Okay. That's a pretty good reduction. That's Okay, now I'm going to read this out, but if I, um, okay, in the matter of ZBA case number AB 2019-09, Mark Ferguson, 3140 West Clarkston Road, 0908-376-008, I would move that the petitioner's request for variances from zoning order number 78 Number one, Article 27.02A, five buildings, structures, and uses. A 4.52 variance above the height of the principal structure of 16 feet to build a pole barn 20.5 feet in height and 25 feet away from the rear side of the principal structure. Number two, Article 2702A8, building structures and uses for lot size over 2.5 acres. A 100 foot variance above the allowed 1400 foot maximum floor area of a detached accessory building to build a 1500 square foot pole barn in addition to the 575 square foot detached garage for a total of 926 maximum floor area detached. No, that'll be 20, 2076. 2076. Okay. My bad. Okay. To build a detached garage for a total of 2076. 2076 foot maximum floor area of detached accessory building. Number three, a 76 square foot variance. 176. 176 foot variance above, above the allowed 1,976 1900 square foot total maximum floor area of all accessory buildings for a total of 3,136 square foot. 20, 2076. 2076 square foot of all accessory buildings. Okay, <laughs> got it. Be granted because the petitioner has demonstrated that the following standards for variance have been met in this case in that they have set forth, which show that the petitioner has expensive cars and other things um, that he needs to store. If he doesn't have the space, his items are going to um, probably get wrecked. Number two, the following are exceptional or extraordinary circumstances or conditions applicable to the property involved that do not apply generally to other properties in the same district or zone. Well, number one is that he's off Clarkston Road. The second thing is that he has over four acres of property to build this thing on. Um, and nobody's here to say anything against it. The variance is necessary for the pre preservation and enjoyment of substan substantial property right possessed by other properties in the same zone or vicinity based on the following facts. Um, again, he has the space to build it. 
and he needs it to store his equipment. I actually think it might even look make the property look a, a little better once he does something to that house. Granting the variance or modification will not be materially detrimental to the public welfare or materially injurious to the property or improvements in such zone or district in which the property is located based on the following findings of fact. And I sound redundant, but um, there's not much else to say other than that he needs a space for his equipment and he has the space over there. Um, further based on the following finding of facts for granting this variance would not impair adequate supply or light and air to the adjacent property. It wouldn't unreasonably increase the congestion in public streets. It's not an increase, would not increase the danger of fire or endanger the public safety. It would not unre unreasonably diminish or impair established property values within the surrounding area. I'll support that if you'll include that the petitioner agreed to uh, keep a 20 foot uh, side yard setback in the force um, and that he'll be building the property north uh, of where it was staked due to the fact that he has a well in the area so he has to go north and also that he agreed that there's not going to be a business run out of there. I would like to add too that, that um I'm glad that you decided to modify this and work with us a little. Thank you. So I'd like to add that to the notes. Okay. Any further discussion by the board? Please call the roll. Jerome? No. What? No. Jerome? Yes. Jerome? Yes, but we don't have a quorum, so. Yeah, we got a quorum. You said no. We have a quorum. I mean, we don't have majority. enough a majority three to pass. Votes. We need three right. to pass, so can pass. So. Sorry, we have to try something else. Good luck. We didn't try. So now what? Well, come up, come back with something. Well, More palatable, it's going to come back with a lesser variance. Yeah, a lesser variance and something that the board members can. I mean, I'd cut it down more than half. Yeah, I mean, you were only 100 away, so. Yeah. Well, the board members are the board members, so. Sorry, you didn't get it. Why is it every time I come in front of this board, I have a problem? I think it's the first time, sir, I've ever seen you. No, it isn't. Which maybe I don't. We get a lot of I don't cases. Remember. I don't remember, but you know, I'm on this piece of property. I've ever seen you. Oh, I've been here before. On this okay. piece of property? No, I just That's purchased. I said I've never seen you before on this piece of property. I've just purchased it. I judge properties each case by itself. That's and I don't what we have to do. I don't owe any explanation, sir. I explained to you what I thought that you could put that barn further back on that five acres. That's where I'm coming from. Okay, well, I'm coming from, it's over. The, the, we voted, and, you know, you, if you want to come back with something less, maybe talk to the building department. They might have some direction for you, but I think you know how the board, I mean, I was okay with it, but that's on one vote. He has one other alternative, too. He can go to circuit court and uh, appeal yeah. this decision. Yeah. I, I know I can go to that's circuit it. court. I'm just telling you the statute. I, I know I can go to circuit court. Yeah. Everybody else has it. It's coming in front of this board. Okay, well. Thank you. Thank you. But 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 you guys don't care. That's the problem. Well, I represent 40,000 you know, residents in this community. I'm, we go by the ordinance. We can't argue that point right, right. now, so. Right, exactly. You know, I can't. we got to go to the next case. Thank you. Next case is AB 2019-10, Dana and Brian Miller, 67 Chamberlain Street, 0903-452-034. Petitioner is requesting for variance order 78. Uh, article 604 zoned R3 a 21.08 uh, front yard setback variance from the required 30 foot front setback variance uh, to add a porch to the home 8.92 feet from the front property line a 3.12 foot side yard setback variance from the required 10 foot side yard setback variance to build a deck 
6.88 foot on the east side from the property line and an 8.95% lot coverage variance above the allowed 25% for a total lot coverage of 33.95% and a 3.4 variance above the allowed 75% of the principal structure to add attached garage addition of 951 square foot. Well, the Miller, Mr. Miller. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, I, as you see, you're probably going to have to do some, some uh, convincing here, why this is needed. All these variances. Okay. Well, I I would I would start by saying uh, um, we are drastically improving the conditions that are currently there right now. The uh, we purchased the home back in September. The home was built in 1910, obviously zoned under previous ordinances. Uh, currently, the garage, as it sits, is over uh, the property line, uh, well into the right-of-way of the road. Uh, we feel it does present uh, a safety issue as it is right now. Uh, we're proposing to basically improve the conditions of the entire property uh, by removing that garage, removing a breezeway, relocating the garage within the property lines. Uh, over on the west side of the property. Um, we would say uh, we're uh, definitely uh, less with lot coverage, less with uh, uh, variances than uh, adjacent properties around the lake. Um, I, again, it's a modest addition. We're not looking at a 5,000 square foot home. We're looking at about a 2,500 square foot home where the garage is, we're adding living space above that. Um, so yeah, I would, I would just say we're drastically improving the conditions of the current property and increasing, you know, increasing the value. Okay. Um, well, one thing is you are lessening the nonconformity for sure, because you're right. Part of the garage that currently is in the uh, right of way. So that's a plus. The question I have is why do you need the variance over on the would be the west side where the stairs are why do you need the variance for that side on the east side uh, on the east side i mean we're, we're not really doing anything different than what's there right now i mean we have an existing deck there we have existing stairs coming down we're not adding to the house on the east side it's a, essentially the same condition as we have right now well you're asking for a 3.12 side yard setback variance from the required 10 foot to build a deck 16.88 feet from the side yard property line on the east side. And that's, a, I mean, that is what we have right now. That's what you have? Yes. That's existing? Yes. I mean, we're, we're looking to add onto the house, building out towards the lake. So we're redoing the deck, um, but it's in the same position it is right now. You're not going any farther closer to the... Your if neighbor. it is, it might be inches, but we are more than happy to stay within, I mean, the existing extent right now. We're not adding down to the house on that side. No. I just saw the request. I, you know. Yep. Okay. So, I mean, if you, I mean, I don't and know. They, and the purpose of the, the size of the garage, you know, 951 square foot, pretty large garage. And what would be the need for such a large garage? Uh, it's not as much the garage as it is um, the living space. Love it. Yes, it's a it's a master it's a master bedroom uh, and bathroom ab above the garage space. So we have between my wife and I, we have six children, um, and uh, you know we want to have <laughs> room for them. And we're we're trying to squeeze that into a twenty five hundred to twenty six uh, twenty five to twenty six hundred square foot home. Okay. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Not bad. Some okay. of them are some of them are grown, so okay. yeah. but they question, visit. Question by the board? Yes. How many years you own the house? Uh, we just purchased a home in September. I've been a resident here for almost twenty-two years. Okay. Dan, anything? Yes. Good. Um, you're gonna have to walk me through this. You know the property. I don't. I was only there once. I think I missed you folks by seconds red truck quite miss us but yeah i wish we would have waited a little bit and you would have knocked on the door but we uh, did i passed it and didn't realize i was by it and then when i went to back up you came out into the street or somebody did and sat there and then when you pulled away i said that had to be them but anyway where the mini cooper is that piece is coming off yes yeah that entire garage plus a breezeway okay yeah then you're going to put a front porch on on that section a very modest front porch yes and it's your contention or opinion that the footprint 
on the east side is not going to change where the stairs are going up yes so it's a fair statement that it may have been pre-existing non-conformity before this oh absolutely you have to come for a variance now because you're under these rules correct okay now if you go around the little hook there where the you can pull in you got cement there next to the house yes right straight in front of you there's a, a little room up there what is that it's a shed up there yeah we're so you pull into the there's a basketball hoop yep and then immediately to the right of that it. it's just it a it's a shed so that would be demolished okay um how do your neighbors feel about this whole project uh, they're they're definitely they're fully supportive of it uh, mike and connie on the uh west side of our property are, are very supportive and ron and amy on the east side also that Can big pine tree in the back are you gonna have to take that out yes that's smack dab in the middle of the addition thank you um, can I read a letter in, that he has sure. here from Ron Lavelle, 57 Chamberlain in Orion. Dana and Brian Miller have reviewed their building plans with me and I support their proposed construction. I do not have an issue with the variances signed Ron Lavelle. Letters dated April 3rd, 2019. And that's the neighbor, the neighbor the to the east where east you're, side. yes sir. Okay, is there anybody here to speak to this matter? Okay, any other questions? Mike? Daniel? One more, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Um, you may have mentioned it. When was the original house built, if you know? The records we show is 1910. Uh, the garage was added on in the 1970s. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Well, you want to take a shot at it? No, it had been quiet all night. Let's yeah. try it. Let's try it. All right. In a matter of ZBA case number AB 2019-10, Dana and Brian Miller, 67 Chamberlain Street, 09-03-452-034. I would move the petitioner's request for variances from Zoning Ordinance 78, Article 6, Section 6.04, Zoned R3, Number 1, a 21.08 foot front yard setback variance from the required 30 foot front yard setback to add a porch to a home 8.92 feet from the property line in the front and number two a 3.12 foot side yard setback variance from the required 10 foot to build a deck 6.88 feet from the side property line to the east and an 8.95% lot coverage variance above the allowed 25% maximum lot coverage for a total lot coverage of 33.95%. And Article 27, Section 27.02A8, a 3.4% variance above the allowed 75% principal of the principal structure to add an attached garage addition of 951 square feet. I would ask in this case that these be granted because the petitioner did demonstrate that the following standard for variances have been met. Petitioner does show that the following practical difficulty has been met in this case, which would in my mind be the fact that he is pr improving a home that is over 100 years old. The houses in that area are notoriously small and shoehorned in. He is taking steps to lessen the nonconformity by moving it out of the road right away. The uh, variance for the stairway on the east is only necessary because when it was built, there were either no variances or they weren't paid attention to. Now he's using basically the same footprint to accomplish the same purpose. Um, the following are exceptional or extraordinary circumstances or, or conditions applicable to the property that do not apply generally. Again, it is a small piece of property, oddly shaped on a lake that was occupied by a small house. They want to make it a more habitable house, improve the area, and add to their enjoyment in living there on the lake. The variance is necessary for the preservation and enjoyment of a substantial property right possessed by other property in the same zone. For reasons previously stated, the granting of the variance will not be materially detrimental to the public welfare 
or materially injurious to the property or improvements in such zone or district. Um, states that it uh, will not impair an adequate supply of light and air to the adjacent property. Neighbors, by the way, I should have mentioned earlier, do appear to be on board with this. We have a letter from the neighbor to the east who states that he is in favor of what these folks are trying to do. Uh, it states that they will not in unreasonable, excuse me, unreasonably increase the congestion in public streets. I can only imagine that that street is already congested, but what they're going to do is going to actually make it some better and not worse. It will not increase the danger of fire or public safety or unreasonably diminish or impair established property values to the surrounding area. I support that if you'll include that it's a double frontage lot. Uh, I don't remember if you said that or not. I did so, not. Okay. Which does come with its own restrictions somewhat and it's a lesser, uh, it's a lessening of the um, what is it? Not conformity. Non conformity. So. Yes. Okay. So included. Thank you. Okay. Any further discussion? Please call the roll. Durham. Yes. Bless. Yes. Bless. Yes. Yaros. Yes. Good luck, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Next, we have public comment. Comment. Communications. Memo from Planning and Zoning regarding dates, which in case we already know that. Committee reports, non members comments? Any members comments? Yes. We've got a joint uh, Board of Trustees, Planning Commission, and Zoning Board of Appeals uh, this Wednesday, 7 p.m., right here in the boardroom. And also uh, coming up Saturday, we have our start of our uh, North Oakland Household Hazardous Waste Collection. That'll Should be, be in Saturday at Addison. Uh, huh? Is that in Addison? I said it's, it's in Addison on the first one, isn't it? No, it's in Oxford. Oxford? Oxford, oh. Oxford Middle School off of Lake Mill Road. Got it. Okay. Starts at 8, 8 a.m. Okay. Yep. Thank you. That's all I got. Okay. Um, motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll support. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same. Motion passes.